What is going on guys? I am your boy Sully and today I am back doing something that a lot of people probably weren't expecting to see but I have been talking about Star Wars a lot for the past month, month and a half or so and I finally got to saw it. I got to see it on a midnight release on the 16th. Well I arrived at the cinema on the 16th at around half 10. Was there like an hour and a half early just to make sure we got our seats, We everything was fine, we were sorted and then we actually got to watch it on the 17th at midnight, 24 hours before it was released in America, which is insane. That is incredibly different for, like, British cinema in general. When it was released, um, like, in Europe beforehand, which is, like I said, different. And it was amazing to be one of the first, like, few hundred or few thousand people to see this movie that everyone has waited so long for. And initially, like, this is just going to be, like, an initial reaction video, like, no spoilers or anything. But initial reaction was just, oh my god, it is amazing. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it is a fantastic movie. J.J. Abrams, all of our trust was in him and it was such well-placed trust because he did such a fantastic job with this movie. Star Wars is officially back. They've done an amazing job rebooting this franchise with this movie. It sort of felt like a perfect mixture of episode 4 and 5. Follows a similar storyline with new rebooted characters, the original cast. The shot choices were amazing, J.J. Abrams was the perfect man for this job and he did so well with it. Like I said, movie is not perfect, there could be quite a lot that could have been done with it. There's a lot of room for character development but I imagine that will come with the next two episodes because it will just be a continuation of the story. Um, so there is like a lot that can be done with a lot of the characters. It is an amazing movie, so much like... So much happened that, like I said, no spoilers. I don't want to do like a proper full review till the movie's been out for like a month or so, just so I can go through it with you guys, get a bit of a discussion going, see what you guys felt, if you thought the same things as me, thought differently about some things. But the new characters we're introduced to are amazing. They're cast really, really well. A lot of young, unknown sort of British actors are in this, which is quite good for the British film scene. And it was so nice watching a movie and feeling, it felt like I was there watching episode 4, even though I never got to see that at the cinema. And this was by far the best choice of film for me to go and watch as a midnight release. It was my first ever midnight release, I was so happy to go. I was literally about an hour away from the premiere, like if I'd have gone to Leicester Square as opposed to Piccadilly, I could have seen the premiere, I could have met some of the stars. I wouldn't have been able to get an initial premiere ticket, but I would have seen it like a few hours after those guys but actually like been there and seen the cast and stuff but I missed out on that which is quite a shame maybe I can make it to the next one we'll find out but the next one is released in two years and it's two years after that it goes in that sort of rotation and in between those it has like anthology movies like in 2016 there's a Rogue One movie which is about a group of rebel fighters who find the Death Star plans like for the rebellion and that sort of in between episodes 3 and 4 and then um there, in 2018 they announced that there would be a Han Solo spin-off movie which should be quite good as well. So there's a lot to come from the Star Wars franchise now. I'm so glad that it's back, it's properly rebooted. They did such an amazing job with this movie. And yeah, I can't wait to do a proper full-on review. I'm going to watch it at least once or twice more just to go through it, try spot things I missed, try just get a better feel of the movie as a whole and just try to get as much of it in as possible because watching it for the first time there were bits where I nearly cried. It was so emotional, it's an amazing time to be a Star Wars fan right now and what a movie it was. So yeah, this was a very short video, something a little bit different. I will do a full length review a couple of weeks down the line after I've seen it a few more times. I can go through things properly with you guys and like I said, get a bit of a discussion going for any Star Wars fans who are watching my videos because I know there are quite a few of you out there. From any of the Star Wars related videos I've done and the views they've been getting, I can tell that. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, I've been your boy Sully. May the force be with you and...